So four days ago, I ran a marathon that I wasn't prepared for. I simply woke up in the morning and I thought, let's run a marathon, fuck it. And then after I ran that marathon, I came home and I sat at the dinner table with my family and I watched them. I don't know what it was that day. It happened like that. That happens very often what happened on that evening. But I don't know what it was that day. What I was disappointed at them. I know I'm going to sound horrible for saying this, but I sat there and thought, what the fuck are you doing? My sister, who's also vegan for some reason, um, ate like an avocado bread, with a bread with avocado on it. And she simply like fumbled that when she tried to eat it, right? She simply like, oops, it fell down. And my father had like a song in his mind that he couldn't get out of his mind. And all of them were just acting like complete amateurs. And I know I'm, I'm sounding horrible for this, but, and I, and I thought that, right? I, I thought like, yeah, man, what the fuck are these people doing? The next thought then was, it's horrible for me to think like this. It's horrible for me to judge like that because to judge is not my, it's, it's, it's not for me to do that. Jesus Christ judges the people in heaven and on earth. And it's not my duty to do that. And then the next thought I, thought man how great is that to have these thoughts that i just had and it's a very powerful thought to be disappointed at like regular people because you think you could be capable of doing so much more and today i'm going to teach you exactly how to become better than everyone than you currently spent your time with regardless of who that is and regardless of how long it's going to take you're going to get there i promise the first thing we'll talk about is hold yourself to meme standard. And you know those memes, right? Those those David Goggins memes where, where they say like, yeah, he ran for this distance and then he did push-ups and then he went to church and all that and he's just the perfect man, right? Those those memes where they say, um, your 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 girl telling you um about the guy she told you not to worry about like those those kinds of memes. And if you just hold yourself accountable to the things people joke about, you're going to become first the thing they joke about because they're going to think this guy works way too hard. But at some point, it's going to click in their mind and they're just going to see themselves in the position that they are in, which is a bad position usually. And they're going to see you in the position of literally the guy their girlfriends told them not to worry about. So hold yourself accountable to the standard people joke about, people think is not achievable and therefore they simply joke about it. Hold yourself accountable to that standard and do everything to be uncommon amongst them. And you might think right now, this is unachievable. You might be that person who jokes about that standard and I just want to tell you that that's just a limiting belief. It's a very limiting belief and you shouldn't have that as a young man. As a young man, you're supposed to be very ambitious. You're supposed to say, I'm gonna be better than everyone else. You're supposed to be that guy. And I think we all should take pride in how ambitious we are and what we want to achieve and to which standard we hold ourselves accountable to. Because ultimately our mindset will be the rails we move on. It doesn't matter how good you are right now if you have a good mindset and if you have a well defined mindset that will lead you everywhere you want to go then you won't be in a bad spot for long if there is a fat guy with the perfect mindset he will be better than the athlete and then the athlete the lean athlete with like five girlfriends um, who has a bad mindset he will be better than that guy because the fat guy with a good mindset, he will work harder than the athlete with a bad mindset. The bad mindset athlete is going to stay home when the fat guy is going to be in the gym. And they're going to switch roles, trust me. So pay attention to your mindset. Your mind is going to tell you right now it's not achievable to be like that. And simply ask yourself, why is my brain and my mind such a coward what did I do that my brain became a coward like that? Because it is. It doesn't want to achieve the pain of you changing because change means pain always. Evolution means pain. And if you try to change your belief 
And if you try to become so good that you're disappointed of everyone in the world, you're gonna have to feel pain. You're gonna have to go to the gym every single day, not just six days a week or five days a week. You're gonna have to go there without a rest day. You have to work every single day. On your rest day, you're gonna go for a run. Every single day, you're gonna go for a walk. You're gonna miss out on all the parties. And your brain right now is telling you it's, it's not achievable. It's a limiting belief. Your brain is your hater. So don't trust your brain, trust me. Because I went through this phase as you saw in the story in the beginning. Trust my brain, not yours, because your brain is probably still a coward and mine is probably a little bit more advanced than yours as you saw in the story. If you're better than me, fine. But if you're, if you're better than me, why are you watching this video then? So the chances are very high that you aren't better than me and that you should trust me and not your own brain. The next, room, the next thing we'll talk about is why not be perfect? This is literally like the thing on my little script here. Why not be perfect? And I think it's very, very empowering to say something like, something like that. Why not aspire to perfection and not just being as good as you can? Because if you want to be as good as you can, you need to aim for perfection. You're always going to hit lower than what you aim for. That's a genuine setting goals and if you aim for perfection you're gonna hit the goal of performing at your get best if you want to make two thousand dollars today you're gonna give your really best then you're gonna give your personal best and not when you say let me make as much money as I can no aim for perfection aim to be a millionaire today and you'll give your very best and you'll be one in one year. I promise. Aim for perfection for every single day, not for your life. Because on the grand scale of things, it doesn't matter if you eat Rice crispy today. But if you just look at today, if you start every single day with a fresh mindset, it does matter if you eat the cake or the gummy bears or that, all that processed shit. It matters. If you aspire for a perfect day and not for a perfect life, scale down. Aspire for the perfect second, the perfect hour, the perfect millisecond. But start by aiming for the perfect day. That's the implementation of this video. Here you have it. Many YouTubers will say, give away the secret, sell the implementation. Look to have the perfect day. In my next video that is linked somewhere here in, in a couple of seconds, it's going to be there. Um, I talk about how to, or no, no, actually it's not going to be here. It actually has to come out before I can link it, but it's going to be the next video on this channel. And in that video, I will, in that video, I will tell you exactly how to manufacture the perfect day yourself without needing any coaching. So it's basically a free coaching that I give you that would otherwise have like the value of $150, $200 in my coaching. So stay tuned for that and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. If you want to boost this Bruh. algorithm, if Bruh. you want to boost this video Bruh. for the algorithm so one of your brothers who hasn't started self improvement yet can actually get recommended this video, you can hit the like button and comment something for your algorithm. Now, have a nice day and master your mind, King.